let's practice some electron configurations. Make sure that you have a periodic table available, otherwise you can't tell how many electrons these have. Feel free to stop the video so that you can work out each problem and then check your answer. If we're going to do electron configurations, the first thing we're going to need is an off-ball diagram. You could find the one in the notes, or you could just draw your own. It's pretty quick and straightforward. Start with 1s, and then below it, we can write all the other ones, 3s, 4s, and I'm going to go all the way down to 7, even though we shouldn't need that. And then we just start the P's one further over. And try to make your lines as straight as possible. Seventy, and we're going to stop at F, which is good since I'm out of space. And now we need to draw the arrows that show us which ones to go through. And we do these in a diagonal. Make sure you actually put an arrowhead on them, otherwise they're just lines and they don't tell you a direction. Make sure your third one goes from 2p to 3s, and then you should be able to just match that angle and you'll be fine. So this is telling you the order of orbitals from lowest to highest energy. Okay, so let's look at sulfur. If we look at the periodic table, we can see sulfur has 16 electrons. And we're going to start at the top of our off-ball diagram right here. The first orbital we go through right here is 1s. All s orbitals can hold two electrons. We're going to put a superscript, 1s2. Next in our diagram, when we get to the end of an arrow here, go up to the top here and then we go through 2s so we have 2s2 now so far we've placed 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons we've got more to go so from 2s next we go to 2p p orbital can hold 6 so 2p 6 we do a quick count. We have 6, 2, and 2. That's 10 electrons. We've got more. So we follow our off-ball diagram to 3s. 2. Now that's 12 electrons. Next we go to 3p. And let's stop for a second. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 12, we only have four electrons remaining to get to our 16. So we're not going to fill this up all the way. We're going to put four electrons in it. Let's look at iron. If you look at your periodic table, you can see that iron has 26 electrons. We're going to use the same off-ball diagram, and we're going to say 1s2, 2s2. Make sure you're actually making these little numbers superscript. Make them small and, and higher. 2p6. Now we're at 10. 3s2. It's important to kind of keep track, otherwise you go too far. 12. p6. That's 18. From p, we do not go to 3d. If we follow our arrow, we can see we go from 3p to 4s. So now we have 10, 12, 18, 20. We need 6 more. After 4s, 
We go over here to 3D. We do 3D 6. And you should always, when you're done, add up all your little superscripts and make sure they add up to the right number of electrons. Sodium has 11 electrons. So if we follow our off-ball diagram, we do 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and that gets us 10, and then 3s1. Krypton is 36 electrons. So we do 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, and I haven't stopped to count because I knew iron had 26, this has 10 more, so I knew I was going to go past that. But if I stop and count now, I have 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, I have 30, so I need 6 more electrons. So we have from 3D, we go to 4P, so 4P, 6. Let's do one more. Tungsten has 74 electrons. So I know I'm going to do all of this and then some. But I can do the first 36 fairly quickly. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, so we know that that's 36. I'm going to make myself a little note right here so I don't forget. I have to keep counting. So from 4p, we go to 5s, and then after 5s, we go here to 4d. And that's another 10. So that gives me 38. Gives me 48 right here. After 4D, we go to 5P. That can hold 6. From 5P, we go to 6S. That can hold 2. So we're at 56 here. From 5s, we go to 4f. The f orbital can hold 14. So we have jumped to 70 right here. We only have four more. So from 4f, we go to 5d. And that's the electron configuration for tungsten. You can see that these can get really, really long, and you can also see that they repeat themselves. Like we knew for tungsten, the first 36 were going to look just like this. So that lets us use some shorthand called the noble gas configurations that we'll cover on the next page.